so um, inspiration can come from everywhere or anywhere it basically starts with an idea you have an idea you want to show something which you think it's funny or uh, something where you think you want to convey a message to to the audience because animation is just not a medium for entertainment it is educative also so everything starts with an idea like be it awareness or be it a funny joke so that is how your inspiration drawing i feel is not very necessary but basic understanding you should have and we train students to you know get to that basic level of uh, understanding of drawing because poses uh, animation is basically you know good poses shown one after the other if your poses are not working your animation is not working so for the understanding of poses uh, we believe that drawing is one of the criteria is that if you really want to make it to a you know next level of animation drawing businesses 2d animation is basically all 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 drawn by hands uh, where your your the animator takes up some pages and this draws and those uh, images are put in the computer where they are scanned and those images are played in succession very fast one after the other that it gives an illusion of movement that is basically 2d animation 3d animation is uh, you uh, there's a software called maya or max where you can take your character which is fully rigged and you basically tell the computer what kind of action you want from out of the character so we teach the students here uh, how to manipulate the rigs and how to get you know good quality of animation in 3d in maya Courses in AID, I think, is uh, uh, those are very flushed out courses. Uh, it's not just like out of the air. We just designed the course to teach animation. We actually sat and hours of meeting we did, and we actually, you know, wrote down all the complexity level of the exercises and, and the level how it goes on increasing, so that students are not burdened by complex cities. So at level one, they are doing very basic things. And then level three, they are doing like advanced acting and animation. So I think none other institute uh, offer the same kind of course what we are offering in AID. Basically, if I'm hiring any candidate, I would look for someone who has a very good understanding of animation. All the animation principles are displayed in the demo reel. So keeping that in mind, in, 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 in our AID, what we do is like we have a separate like advanced module where we focus on all these things. Whereas to, when they are uh, developing their portfolio for when they use their portfolio to apply elsewhere in the industry. Uh, we go through that portfolio, we advise students like how to have the portfolio and have the same material what the industry is looking for. So uh, in that way, uh, they are at the same stage or at, at par with the industry standards, like when, what they are looking for, what the recruiters are looking for. And uh, yeah, I feel degree is very important um, as your career thing, but a lot of people who, uh, who want to, you know, immediately go for a, for a job. So in that way, what they can do is just go with the diploma course, they do a diploma course and uh, we make them industry ready and they can get a job. But in the long run, uh, degrees are very important uh, in the sense that if you are going abroad or you are going for higher studies or you are going uh, to apply a job elsewhere outside India. So for them, degree is one of the reasons why they will choose you. Um, also like in degree course, you have uh, a big spectrum of you know courses or or or, or, or softwares and uh, 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 faculties available to you like you cover a lot of things in the degree course compared to your diploma so if you're starting as an animator i would suggest uh, see there are a lot of course materials available online these days a lot of uh, people are offering some course contents but uh, to really make it professionally into an industry, you should go through an institute where uh, there are trained faculties there. Uh, uh, it's just not, they will not just run you through the course, they will give you tests, assignments, they will give you, you know, live feedbacks on your work, work and material. So that way you can really know what the industry standards are. So uh, without an institute, I w you will not have an upper hand. So I feel that institutes are, you know, any institute is very relevant for your uh, uh, progress as a to become a good artist. Yeah, as an animator, there is a lot of uh, opportunities in India. Um, 
there are a lot of companies also all across india be it delhi bombay hyderabad uh, bangalore uh, they are getting a lot of work these companies are getting a lot of work from outside even in house like i said like now production uh, value has gone up so they are hiring a lot of people who know the, who know the act, the the knowledge of this who know this industries uh, in and out for example animation or or be it vfx so there's a huge scope right now even there are companies who are, i mean uh, there are institutes also coming up uh, who are who have you know good talented faculties who can you know really share their information and knowledge to the students so i believe there's a huge scope uh, for animation industry in india because uh, first of all it's a it's a service industry uh, so lot of companies from outside like us uk canada france and all uh they give outsource a lot of work to india because now the talent pool has become big and uh, our uh, services are quite cheaper relatively compared to other countries um the other thing is now we are developing our own contents now in this industry so even you see a lot of uh, live action movies which have very expensive special effects and all so they are willing to spend so much money on that and they know that there is a lot of uh, people who can deal with this complex scenario so they are willing to you know in house uh, do all the work instead of sending it out uh, 